Well, hello, hello. This is Rosa RCG Creations. How are you doing? Ooh, I'm pooped. I just got in. It's 90 degrees outside. We went to go pick up. Excuse me, not we. Me. <laughs> and as your order, and look, I ordered the half gallon jars because I am getting ready for some more bulk storage for winter. And, you know, everywhere you read, social media, news, uh, we just don't know what the grocery price is and what the crops are going to be, potato problems, um, what was there, there was something else, there's three more, four more things, a bunch of uh, store closings, we just don't know, so, you know what, I'm just going to try to do what I can afford, stay in my budget, and do what I can to prepare, so at least just where, for the next, at least for the next six months to the year, depending on what it is we have, and uh, let's get straight to the order. As you can just see, I just showed you, these are the wide mouth half gallon jars. There's six of them, and these, there they go. You can order them, just the jars by itself, or you can do order with the jars and the lids, and I'm not exactly for sure what size lid the half gallon ones were. When I placed my order, I went ahead and just ordered the ones that have the, uh, that have the lids and rings already on them, so I'd, I'd rather be safe than sorry. So that's what I did. Now, I'm not much of a meat eater. Hubby loves meat, but because of the prices for the last three years, since before COVID, we've been backing off on steaks and meats because it's just, just too expensive. But I did order him this. Let me get my readers on. This is a 10-ounce New York strip, and it's vacuum-packed. So it's going to stay fry, fine in the freezer until he gets ready to use it, which... I don't foresee it's going to last more than a couple of days. And then this one is a beef sirloin steak. This is also, this is the 8 ounce. And there's that one. And that's also vacuum packed. And that's one thing I like about their meat is they vacuum pack their meat. Which is, I'm really glad on that. I got me some um, Celtic sea salt. This is a fine grind Celtic. They didn't have any of the red men's. This is what I usually order is the red men's. But this is this will work just fine. Now I just went ahead and got you know, so I put the readers back on so I can see what I'm reading. Uh, this one is one pound. I just got one pound because I wanted to try to see if we like it. Uh, I am a little on the picky side of what kind of salt do we use. I don't cook with salt and I don't use table salt hardly at all on my, on my plate when I get ready to eat. Sometimes I do. But I am picky with the salt and what kind of comes, where it comes from, how it's mined, and what all the ingredients are in it. Now this one, this is my second, I really prefer Redmond's. Uh, but this, where's the ingredients? Here we go. No, that's not there. Ingredients are sea salt, and that's it. Nothing else but sea salt. So uh, sea salt is my number one go-to salt. And I like to do the big granules, and I like to do the extra fine, and the coarse granules. I like to do the big, great ones to have to store... So if I'm running out and in between uh, shopping time frames, I can at least grind my own in my blender and make my own fine, extra fine table salt. Okay, we got Hubby. He loves these. These are from Tractor Beverage Company. This is a peach concentrate. I got him a peach, and I got him a strawberry dragon fruit. These are the two he, we haven't tried yet. He ordered. We uh, got the strawberry, and I got... A mango one and he loved them and he really likes it because these are very very concentrated so he can um, you make it as, as uh, you make it how you want to make it but this is a concentrate okay so we're gonna be good to go with these two at least for the next two weeks because I go this thing needs to last you a month because Azure only delivers once a month <laughs> but it's on, that's on him next thing is I ordered some puffed carrots I don't have a garden, and I don't know what the carrot prices are going to be, but I'm going to be able to toss these in when I put uh, stuff in the crock pot, like uh, making a beef stew, a pot roast, things like that, And because I am literally I am running out of freezer space. I'm Basically, I'm totally out of freezer space. That's why I didn't mind these small packages of the steaks, because they were small, is because of all the freezer, uh, freezer meals that I've been making. Hubby really, we both really like them because of the convenience. 
and it's only one full day, one eight or nine hour, ten hour day, whatever it is that you're making, however much you're making, that I spend, but I'm done for the whole month of freezer meals. And then, of course, we have the other stuff that's just regular meals like beef, chicken, and pork chops, and sausage that are not freezer meals that you just make fresh. So we can do that on our days off. Or if we just don't want to cook, we just go pop out a freezer meal that morning and then by dinner time it's thawed out and ready to cook in 30 minutes 30 to 45 minutes depending on what kind of meal it is dinner is ready next thing I order is I ordered four of these these are four ounces this is the bell pepper red dice and they're gluten free and they're from the Azure I went ahead and ordered four of those I I've had some freezer bell peppers before I didn't care for them I've never had the Azure brand it was another brand I'm not gonna say what it is um, but I didn't care. I didn't care for they, the way they reconstituted once they got into liquid. So I, I just ordered four of these because this I figured I'll try one, open a bag, see if I like it, and if I like it, I'll open the other three and put them all in one container, which is going to be one of my half gallon containers. Because if I like them, I will definitely order these in the bigger bulk size. Okay. Next thing is I'm going to show you. I ordered some apples, see that, a whole case, and these are, let's see, what does it, does it tell you, let me get, oh, they're on my order form right here, they are Azure Husbandry Apples Ginger Gold Organic, so I went ahead and ordered a whole case of that, because I'm going to be making some apple butter. We got three. <laughs> well, has one of my husband's co-workers. He's put the bag in me. Please, please, please. And he goes, I'll pay you. Who oh, am I going? Just pay me for the jars. Don't worry about the, the, the apple butter. But they've been asking for apple butter. So I'm gonna. that's what I'm going get, to get, get to do for the rest of the day. Uh, put all this stuff away. Then I'm going to start peeling, processing, and get ready to make some apple butter. <laughs> oh, I did order um, a 25-pound bag of... Um, Mar uh, oat whole grown oats, but I'm sorry, I'm just too exhausted, too pooped to go get it. It's in the other room, the because I gotta put it in a uh, three three pound bucket because we have those. I use three pound buckets versus five pound buckets. We have some five, but I just don't have the wrist strength to pick up five pounds bag of product. I can handle three pounds, not a problem. I just cannot handle the five pounds, so I'm gonna put that in the. Uh, uh, empty that bag into that bucket and this is a small order and the whole thing which I, everybody knows prices are really going up in fact I'll tell you what the prices that I paid for this stuff but definitely go to I'll put a link in the description box to the Azure website and I'll do a pop-up for those who want to do the pop-up but let's get back here to the Azure website and it's um, Azure, A-Z-U-R-E, standard, S-T-A-N-D-A-R-D.com. Okay, and where's my total? Uh, okay. They normally give you a magazine, but I didn't get no magazine in this one. I saw a bunch of magazines out there, but I didn't get one. Sometimes some people kind of walk away with something, because, you know, it's totally free reign, and there, nobody monitors anybody, because your name is on there, we're just... Hoping everybody does the right thing, but I had a magazine. I saw it on the box. I went to go get it with another box, and the magazine was gone. So, oh, oh well, I'm okay because I really don't read them. I don't really look at them. I go to the website for pretty much everything. Okay, my grand total was 185.24, and I'll give you a breakdown just so you see what the breakdowns were. And again, this does change based on the season and the economy of what the going prices are. The apples, that whole case of apples, were only $35. I'm, I'm sorry, but I think that's a great price because I don't have a garden. There is a farmer's market, but it's quite a quite little ways of a drive. So we don't go to it very often, and th that pretty much that's it. We don't have very much here. Okay, the carrots, that bag of carrots, which this bag is one pound of carrots. That bag of carrots was $11.50, and I'm going, ouch, but... You gotta do what you gotta do. The bell peppers, there were fifteen fifty four. Okay, and that's 
fifteen fifty four a piece. Wow, one of them, oh, at 1554 each, and I got four of these, so these were 15 bucks. That's why it's like, uh, I, it's, but did, if you go buy fresh bell peppers, because I've been pricing fresh bell peppers for the last three months, and that's why I haven't bought any. I, I have a dehydrator. I don't have a freeze dryer, but I have a dehydrator. And I love to buy bell, uh, variety, cut there, the multicolor. Uh, these are, no, actually, these are the red. These are just the red. But you can get any of the bell peppers, the green, the red, or the, uh, the what's it, yellow, an orange. And typically, I just uh, go buy like 15, 20 of them. And then I dice it, slice it, and stick it on my dehydrator. And then I put them in a jar and I vacuum seal it. And then I just use as I need because I'm only putting them in like soups and stews uh, or something that's going to marinate uh, overnight. That way it's got plenty of time to rehydrate. And I love them. Hubby, I didn't even know I'm doing it. But they're in there. <laughs> Hubby don't really care for veggies too much. But anyway, that was $15.54 and I got four of those. These beverage concentrates were $17.03. But remember, this is a concentrate. This is going to last. I think it took, I think it lasted him. We did the half a gallon. Yeah, it's a half a gallon pitcher because it's got a little nod that you twist and you shake as you knew it because it's made for juices so you can shake it up it's like with orange juice you got to shake it before you drink it and uh, this is 32 ounces and uh, I think it took one two it, it lasted a good two and a half weeks and he drinks a glass every single day and it's a 32 ounce glass because he loves his juice in the morning on his way to work Okay, both of those were seventeen oh three. The oats, now this is a good price. We're only eighteen dollars and ninety cents for a twenty-five pound bag of the whole grown groat gro, whole groat oats, which you break down and you grind them in your food meal, your grain meal, to make your own flour. Or you could use it like a, a breakfast cereal, a hot breakfast cereal. And winter's coming. The Celtic sea salt. One pound. This is one pound. Twelve dollars and forty-two cents. This is salt. Twelve forty-two for one pound. This is nothing but sea salt. Uh, I got. I ordered some des um, gelatin, but it didn't come in. Uh, organic. The uh, the, fro the sirloin steak. The eight ounce one was eleven dollars and twenty-six cents. A little on the pricey side, but not any more than a regular grocery store. The fact that it's vacuum packed, I don't have to worry about it. The New York Strip, that was sixteen eighty seven for 10 ounces. I ordered some mozzarella cheese. It didn't come in. I ordered some whole milk organic yogurt. It didn't come in. And I was like, oh, man, because I was getting ready. I ordered it so I can start making my own yogurt because yogurt for the regular Kroger brand, name brand yogurt, plain Jane, plain yogurt, no vanilla, no nothing in it. It's almost eight dollars for the sixteen ounce container, and I go up oh, to hubby. I go, we're going to start making our own yogurt because he he and I both love yogurt. He likes to have it as a midnight uh, mid evening snack. We just uh, it's a small little bowl, but he just puts his yogurt in there. He does like it the fruit in there, and I'll grind up some fruit, blueberries, peaches, whatever we have, and I'll grind it up and make it all, pre puree it, and then we pour it in his he pours it in his yogurt. Oh, then the uh, the gal uh, the canning jars. Now these are half gallon. Okay, they come with the lids and the bands, and they were only fifteen dollars and eighteen cents. That is a very good price compared to the grocery stores for, because um, our local stores sell the half gallon and the quart and all the different variety sizes of jars, and they're on the pricey side. So that's my grand total. It's a lot. It's a lot of money and not a whole lot of stuff, but. That's just the economy that we're in. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you in the next video. Take care now. Bye-bye.